Welcome to our last video in our percents unit, and this one is on simple interest. So basically think of it as earning interest on a bank account or savings account, or paying interest on a loan or a credit card. We're basically calculating that percentage over a certain amount of time. So some vocabulary and then our basic formula. First is the word principal. We're going to use it as the P in our formula is the amount of money borrowed or deposited. So maybe you borrow $5,000 for a loan or you deposit $300 into your savings account. That's your principal amount, the amount you put in or the amount you borrowed. Simple interest. This is the amount paid or earned for the use of your money. So if you put your money into a bank, the bank pays you an interest rate for letting, you keep them, or for letting them keep your money for a while. If you're borrowing money from a bank or a credit card, Interest is what you're paying for the cost of being able to access that money even though you didn't have it. To calculate our amount of interest, we're going to use this formula, I equals PRT. So to calculate the interest, you're going to take the principal amount times your rate, that's your percent, times the amount of time it's going to accrue, which is measured in years. Put a little star there. Everything we're talking about is going to be in years, so in some problems you're going to have to do a little adjusting. But get all of this down, get your formula and your appropriate labels written in there, and then we'll put this to use. So we're going to use our nice formula. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time. And then when they're right next to each other, it just means to multiply. So let's try each of these. So first one, $580 in savings. That's your principal. 580 times your rate 3%, which is 0 0.03. We always write it as a decimal. And then we want to do it for four years. That's our time, so times four. Simple as that. 580 times 0 0.03 times four means you will have accrued a total of $69.60 in interest. So if you just let it sit there for four years at 3% interest, you would earn almost $70 on that money. Next one, $1,560 loan, that's P. That's your principal. Your rate is your interest rate, 7.5% or 0 0.075. And then for three years, that's your time, multiply times three. So, after that, it's just a simple calculation. And we would get $351. So if you took out a loan for $1,560 at a 7.5% interest rate, and you borrow that money for three years, over that length of time, you would owe an additional $351 in interest when you went to pay it back. Next one, you borrowed $1,400, that's your principal, at a rate of 5. 5% or 0 0.055, but this time it's for eight months. Do you remember we put that little star next to the time because it was always measured in years? Eight months isn't a whole year. So when you put something like this in here, it's eight out of 12 months. So our time is going to be eight twelfths. We're going to think of it as a fraction, eight out of the 12 months because it's not a whole year. So 1400 times 0 0.055 times 8 twelfths. So if you're not comfortable turning this into a decimal or you're not comfortable with this going in as a fraction in your calculator, what it really means is you're going to multiply by 8 and then divide by 12 when you put it into your calculator. So 1400, that's the amount we borrowed, times 0 0.055 times 8 divided by 12. And that gives us a total of 51.33333, which we'd round off to be $51.33. So it would cost you $50 or a little bit more in interest over eight months for borrowing that $1,400. How about next one? $900 on a credit card at 19% interest. So here's our principal, here's our rate, here's our time, but again, we're dealing in months, so we'll have to take that into consideration. So. Interest is equal to principal, 900, times the rate, 0 0.19. You're getting good at turning your percents into a decimal. And then three months, or three out of 12. 
So you can put 3 out of 12 in there, multiplied by 3, divide by 12, or 3 twelfths is really the same thing as 1 fourth, and you might know that 1 fourth is the same thing as 0.25. So if you know the decimal version of your fraction, you're always welcome to put that in there if it makes it easier to calculate. Otherwise, you could just do times 3 divided by 12. And then we do 900 times 0.19 times 0.25. And it would give us a total of $42.75. Simple as that. Plug in the three pieces that you know, multiply them together. Just watch for that months versus years part. And then find your answer. So, a little bit here at the end. What if we don't know one of those initial pieces of information? We always have our I equals PRT. But what if we don't know the principal, the rate, and the time? and we got to figure one of them out. So jot down these two problems for me, and then let's try them together. It says, Lewis is taking out a car loan for $5,000. That's my principal. He plans to pay off the car in two years. That's my time. At the end of two years, he will have paid $300 in interest. That's my I. Meaning, I don't know what my rate is. That's the piece that I'm missing. Use your formula, plug in the pieces that you know. I is 300, principal is 5,000. I don't know R, so I'm gonna leave that one in there, but I know T is two years. So 300 is equal to 5,000 times the rate times two. Well, to solve it, you just solve it like an equation. Multiply the pieces together that you can so 300 is equal to 5,000 times 2 is 10,000 times R, and then solve it. I want to get R by itself, so I'm going to divide by 10,000. 300 divided by 10,000 gives me an interest rate of 0.03 or 3%. So all I did was plug in the numbers I know and then work the problem backwards to find my missing piece of information. So if you think you can handle this next one, try it. If not, follow along and I'll try it. And you can listen along. It said Maggie put some money into savings, letting it earn 2.5% simple interest. That's my rate. Over five years. That's my time. So let me switch up colors here. So rate and time. If she earns a total of $50 in interest, that's I, how much did she deposit originally? Meaning we don't know what the principal amount is. But start with the formula. I is equal to PRT. Plug in what you know. Interest is $50. Principal, I don't know. But I know the rate is 2.5% or 0 0.025. The time is 5. So I'm plug that in. Your first step is going to be that you can do a little bit of the math right off the bat. Go ahead and do the multiplication you can do. 0 0.025 times 5 gives me 0 0.125 times P is equal to 50. Think of it like an equation. I want to solve for P. They multiply times 0.125, so I'm going to divide by 0.125. Oh, do the same thing over here. 50 divided by 0.125 is equal to a total of $400. So her principal amount must have been $400 at 2.5% interest over five years in order for her to have earned that $500 or that $50 in interest. But start with your formula, plug in the pieces that you know, and then work it backwards like an equation to solve for that missing piece.